Hey everybody, Rod here, and thanks for tuning in to Mercury Fallen, likely the last of this miniseries, with a new miniseries coming at you next week. So let's pick up where we left off. One of the things I wanted to do immediately is we have a bit of a lack of food, so I wanted to go ahead and plant some potatoes. And then I'm going to change some jobs around. Um, so right now we have 31 potatoes. Uh, all right, so changing some jobs around. What I wanted to do is it's always, always helpful to have two medics so that they can heal one another. Uh, so Min here, your primary task is going to be medicine and then comms officer and then technician. And then you're a medic. Then you're going to become an engineer and then maybe a botanist. You are a cook, then a botanist, biologist, rather, and then a botanist. Um, okay, so Robin White is going to be our chief botanist. And we need a chief biologist, I think. Uh, maybe Min, I don't know. We'll I'll have to figure it out. So, um, yeah, let's take a look. We have a decent amount of potatoes, but we want to outpace that. Another thing I could do is to unlock some, you know, I actually don't want to unlock better repair kits. I think I'm okay. Uh, but what we do need is some additional storage. So I'm going to add in some additional storage items. So that we can not run out of space. We left off, we had been uh, building a um, resource transport. So before that resource transport is done, we're going to want to uh, set up receiving. And I'm then setting up the um, bio lab with uh, increased efficiency. Now that we have a little bit of extra storage space, I am going to destroy two of the bots I have because we don't need four bots uh, they're just gonna be idle and then these bots obviously don't need to do mining anymore so one's gonna be a hauler technician builder and the other is gonna be a technician builder hauler in reverse order um, and that should get that going uh, so these bots are just gonna the ones I set to recycle are just gonna basically commit suicide go into the grinder Yep, they're set to recycle. Here they go. Sad, yes, but we don't really need them anymore. That's just the case. So now we have receiving, which allows us to accept goods from the surface. Make sure to build receiving before you uh, set up research transportation because you the goods, as far as I know, will just get destroyed. Um... Taking a look at the surface here. All right, the resource transport is almost done, but not quite yet. All right, here are the bots go self-shred. And those new storages are not full. guess what I could do is set up an expedition, a quick little local one on foot. So Chuck and Robert with 10 potatoes will get set up. So now that those two bots have uh, destroyed themselves, I'm going to break down the robot assembler and the robot recycler because we no longer need them. I will keep two robots at home and... Um, We'll never have to really manufacture a new robot, so I could break that down, save the power, and then we'll never have to recycle another robot, uh, so we'll break that down as well. All right, so here's my little expedition, and they're going to check out some local science. And really, oh, yep, so the resource transport just got done. Next, I'm going to do a rover. The resource transport, if I go to my vehicle bay, I can then um, set this up. I don't want to give it a good engine. I'm just going to set it up to... If you click on the mining platform, assign it as a delivery vehicle, and then um, 
automate it by the auto collect. And this is going to co collect the resources that this mining platform generates and deliver it to the Mercury Fallen base. Oops, some more tech parts. And now I'm making a rover to make the expeditions ever faster. I'm going to use some of the research I have so far to unlock these uh, repair kits. Um, and let's go down to repair kits. Where was I making repair kits? Was I even? Maybe I never really made repair kits. Uh, all of the equipment I can remove because I don't really need those anymore. Oh yeah, I do have uh, patch kits. A lot of these are uh, sort of inferior at this point. So let's queue up what we absolutely need. So what we want is tech uh, elite repair kit and craft if below five, which is resin, titanium, and copper. Now if you take a look, uh, we should have some rutile. Yep, there it is, because of our deep drill that we've got set up. So we'll get elite patch kits. What else are we gonna want? Machine equipment for Hmm, storage expander, but that needs uh, rubber, so we don't have that. Vehicle equipment, what could we do? Cargo expander, we don't really need, we don't really need any of these. So yeah, let's not worry about it. Let's just keep hitting the uh, points of interests. And I'm gonna send these guys back. How's our food now? 30 potatoes, okay, we've been sitting at 30 for a while. Those elite patch kits are gonna allow us to uh, repair our equipment that breaks down much more efficiently and effectively. So as soon as I, yeah, here we go. Now we're getting some real cooking done. As soon as I get a rover up, uh, I will send an expedition to do a lot more. And the rover's almost done, 87%. Okay, so we You're standing on your bed, Chuck. You know, that looks a little strange, buddy. Now, one of the first things I want to do with my newfound titanium is let's go ahead and queue to set up uh, some steam power. So we're going to use our uh, titanium billet to build a geothermal generator, which will wean us off of using anthracite as a... Uh, uh, a burning anthracite to power a base, um, which in the long run saves us a lot of anthracite, right? Because eventually we're gonna run low on anthracite. We're not gonna get any more anthracite from this home tile, so it would be smart to make sure that I'm sourcing power from somewhere else, or else we're gonna need to source anthracite from the surface, um, which is not easy to do in large quantities powering a base. Uh, so we have a new expedition possibility. Chuck, Joyce, and Robin. We're gonna go in the rover. Chuck, Joyce, Robert, or no, uh, Robin. Uh, let's bring 15 potatoes and embark. The rover here, oh, you know what? I didn't really, um, I did not install equipment on the rover, but oh well, we are already embarked. So here's the rover. Oh, I think it's still waiting for passengers. Yeah, it's waiting for, like, Robin. Come on, Robin. Let's move it. Where are you, Robin? Oh, it's Joyce. Okay, uh, no, they're ready to go. Okay, so we'll have them travel. And as you can see, going 32 miles an hour is a lot faster than the 6 miles an hour. We'll spend a lot less time in transit. Eye strain, that's too bad. 
Well, now that we have that built, let's go with a another um, surveyor to survey some of the local area around us. I don't even know what this biome is here. I mean, I think I do for memory, but I haven't discovered it yet. Oh, 65% still got, still lost. Okay, there's some bio samples that we uh, got successfully. And all of the rest of the, pretty much all the rest of the research that I need, I will need bio samples and tech fragments from the surface. I'm really not gonna be able to get that in the cave. It forces you out of the cave. Uh, wasp blueprint and more tech frags. Nice. The wasp blueprint is a type of vehicle here. So the bio samples I just got, I am going to unlock a blue fish, uh, which will also unlock recipes for fried fish and fish and chips and fish chunks, all costing me a little bit of research. And then also, uh, I need to, what kind of tech fragments do I have? I don't have enough tech fragments to unlock the wasp. So now that I have blue fish, let's power up the aquarium here and plant some bluefish. How's my 12 titanium? That's coming along. Fifty-five percent is definitely the highest. And we weren't able to pry it. So bluefish is a great way to start supplementing because living off of potatoes might work have worked for Mark Watney in an emergency, but it does not work for you long term here. Well, there's some more bio samples. Now what I'm going to do is end this um, expedition so that I can improve the rover, make it faster. So if I go to my vehicles here, put the uh, improved engine in. And it also gives uh, the people that got hurt with sp uh, sprains and strains out there uh, a little bit of a break. I'm just looking to improve my All right, tech print for machine equipment. Improve power supply, craft if below one. I could use some improved power supplies to lower my power requirements. It won't so much be an issue as soon as um as soon as I have the uh, the geothermal jenny. Uh, and I think I have one more steam geyser somewhere. Yeah, up there. How's my food? 30 potatoes still? Uh, let's change the queue around here. I am going to first, I'm going to say, fry up some fish, craft if below 50. Then I'm going to, all right, you know what? Actually, let's do this. So what we really want is fish and chips. So we're going to craft if below 50 for fish and chips. So if there's resources for fish and chips, we make it. And then if there is not, uh, we are going to craft if below five for fried fish and craft if below five for potatoes, meaning that we'll have a small stockpile of potatoes, but more or less we are focusing on making into fish and chips. All right, the new surveyor is done. So I'm going to, we don't really have any upgrades for it, so I'm going to kick it out. Have this bad boy go to this biome. I don't know yet know what it is. And set up an expedition. Chuck, Robert, and Sharon with 15 potatoes in a rover. Oh, yeah. Chuck, Robert, Sharon in the rover. And we'll get some local more research going. Did I just put my only cook into the expedition? 
Yeah, Sharon Baker should not be going. Or else. Biome scan complete. Arid Plains. I suppose that's what it was. being a little weird. I'm going to do a quick save and load. Wasn't really able to open my menus. Come on game, hop up to two chup chup. One in doubt, save and load. Alright, now the map table is on okay there we go expedition ready to go we're going to be moving 64 miles an hour more than 10 times faster than on foot uh this new little rover here i'm just going to set up to uh auto scan all right so what is this entering cave sprained ankle yep that's what i expected all right a little radar tower Trying to get as many of the uh, points of interest set up as possible. All right, that was an expedition log. Uh, next, I want to make a, another beetle miner so I can start mining up gold. Another cave, come on. Come on now. Quit giving me caves. You know as well as I do, I can't investigate the caves very effectively. Well, I am failing at this hard. All right, tech frags and uh, improved scanner. Those tech frags might have been enough to, for me to unlock the wasp. It is. Very swell. Uh, well, we could try to get a wasp made after that beetle miner is done. I don't have a lot of good athletes in my, in my expedition, so all those caves never end well for us. Getting pretty banged up. All right, let's check in to the infirmary. And we'll have another expedition soon. So now that we're starting to get bluefish, that's also going to unlock the ability for us to learn how to make... Um, oh, I'm still stuck at green algae. Yeah, I need to, need to research green algae. That's right. So now uh, we have, we are making fish and chips, which is a lot more nutritious than potatoes. As you can see, 45 and 5% versus 25 and zero. Eating straight cooked potatoes forever. Um, not really great for your long-term health. I mean, that's kind of common sense, but. Hmm. We don't have an engineer. I think because I keep bringing Joyce on um, excursions, she's not made the, uh, the components I want. So once we do a little bit more home science and the like, I will uh, send them back out. Oh, so here is the geothermal Jenny. And it says it's not connected. So 
Let's make sure it's fully wired up because I'd love to bring my anthracite burning to an end. All right, there we go. Now, uh, let's go ahead, break down the coal gens. No longer need them. As you can see, we have plenty of overhead power. Uh, so much so that I'm feeling like I want to add another aquarium to increase the uh, amount of fish that we get. So let's make sure to power and wire that up. And on top of that, uh, taking a look at my metals. Okay, we don't have a ton of titanium yet, but I could always make a second geothermal as well. Um, all right, so the beetle miner just got constructed. I am going to send that beetle miner out. I'll give it a mining laser, but I don't think the mining laser converts to a mining platform. Beetle miner's out. I'm going to send it to get gold. And then I want to set up another expedition. As soon as I get this bad boy built. So that's waiting on glass, which is sand. How much sand? Oh, we have plenty of sand. Now you do get to a point where you have to source a lot of the resources you need to build uh, from uh, the outside world. One other thing I could do is um, add a improved power coil here. I'll help out a lot. How's my food? So we only have six potatoes, but we probably have a ton of, yeah, we have a ton of spare potatoes. So here's what I'm going to do. Craft it below 150. I'll just crank potatoes out like there's no tomorrow. And have a giant surplus of potatoes. All right, Beetle Miner has arrived at the destination. Let's go uh, build a mining platform. And then tell it to mine up uh, only refined gold. Or it's going to mine up. Well, you know what? It could mine up anything. Let's do any available. We'll we'll start to do any available for all of the um, mining platforms. Well, no, I just want I just want gold and I just want rutile for now. Uh, so we are going to add the transport to the gold uh, mining platform as well. And let's do another expedition in a rover. Chuck, Robert. And five chips and fish. So Chuck is sort of the technician engineer, but he can pull away because uh, Joyce is a better engineer. And then the robots are okay technicians. They're not great, but they can keep things in somewhat repair. This is ready to go. And now it's just about uh, acquiring as many tech frags and bio samples as you can. Risking injury as little as you can by having a variety of different skills brought to um, yeah, sprained ankle. I really should just walk away from those caves by bringing a variety of different skills to your expedition teams. So what we really need is bio samples. That's first and foremost. So please give me muscle strands. Yes, give me muscle strands. This is exactly what I want. And as the comm officer and the two radar towers work, they are going to discover more points of interest for us. 50%, 55%. Eye strain. Oh boy, we are just failing at life here. Come on, men. Go find us some more stuff to discover. 
There we go. Work your little magic. 50%. Oh, dear lord. Alright, let's have him go heal up. And then maybe go with a new crew. One more supplementary crew member. Uh, possibly a botanist that could do bile sample stuff best. Uh, which is unfortunate because our chief botanist is also the best cook. Oh, no, that's not true. Uh, our botanist is can cook, but is not the only. All right, so we'll send Shannon, Chuck, and Robert on this next one. I think they've healed up. Let's see. Wandering, wandering, sleeping. All right, that's, that's fine. Expedition, Rover, Chuck, Robert, Shannon, and 5 and 15. As now we have a nice healthy surplus of food. Another thing that we're going to get is a, um, a surplus of, um, of the sort of uh, waste product of the fish, which allows us to have plant nutrients, which is pretty good. Oh, we need to have a new biome. Wastelands, cool. 76% done. Uh, these guys are probably ready. Yeah, ready to go. Let's hope having a biologist here helps us to do the plant discoveries a little bit better. Come on, Phil team. Phil team six. Uh, new vehicle. Uh, we could start working towards a wasp. We'll need more electronics and hardened fasteners, so I have to make sure that I'm manufacturing them at home because I kind of killed a lot of those. Here we go, some tech frags. That's not nothing. 55, eye strain, boo. So we need a electronics. Well, let me double check what it was exactly. Um, Regular electronics and hardened fasteners, okay. So, tech, electronics, craft below 15, tech, hardened fasteners, craft if below, craft if below 15. All right, there we go. It would really help to have high skill engineer uh, full timing that. Where is my, yeah, here, there, 50% or 55%. Oh, there we go. Blueprint for a hover explorer and a cargo expander 2 blueprint as well. Good stuff. All right, that was another uh, log. Can I just, oh, I didn't sprain my ankle this time. I actually got tech frags. All right, this resource. I don't feel like you are collecting gold. Maybe it just needed to be re-jumped. I don't think he was collecting any of this gold because there's a ton of it. Ooh, tech frags again. All right. Well, I've probably sprained and eye strained and all that, so let me redock. Okay, here's the my transport actually collecting gold for once. And it's going to fill up. Boop. 
and then return home. Thank you, finally. So we don't have any gold here. We do have some unrefined gold, so what do we do with this? Um, gold ingots, crap below five. Is there any fancier thing to do with this? Refined organic? No. All right, so here we go. Now we're making the hardened fasteners. That's another Alex Kenner log. Resource transport has a whole lot of stuff to drop off. And we are filling up the biome map pretty, pretty thoroughly here. All right, everybody that came home is now idle. Um, so I'm going to send you guys back out. What, oh, uh, here's the cargo expander. Haven't actually needed a whole lot of cargo space in my vehicles, but I suppose in the interest of completionism, uh, I will grab that anyway. Come on, bio samples. Yeah, now the uh, resource transport's actually properly going to both. All right, sea turtle blueprint. And these are different vehicles that you're able to make for different purposes. We're still working on the uh, materials for the, the first vehicle here, the Wasp. Uh, but there's a advanced mining laser and some more tech frags. I'm getting a whole lot of tech frags, not a whole lot of bio. We have a ton of food now. Very healthy amount of food. See, turtle. Uh, as far as research goes, let's do the sea turtle don't have the tech frags for the other the hover explorer yet not yet well there's another advanced engine and some more tech frags how many tech frags do I have 45. So I need 10 more bio samples for a new bio thing. I'm definitely going to want to get algae. And, uh, oh, you know what I could also do? I could, um, well, I don't really need the aeroponics. But aeroponics requires a lot of resources, but allows you to, oh, there's the tech frags and the whale miner blueprint. Um, it allows you to, uh, grow stuff a lot faster in hydroponics, but it will require a lot more power and, um, Oh, another just log. So if I wanted to, if I set these up, let's set these up. Because I've got the power and I've got the water. Power them on and let's grow potatoes because you can never have enough crop. And these have boosted out output and reduced grow time. But, you know, it's power and water as a, uh, as a, you know, how to actually grow it. So it's expensive, but it's, it's quick. So we got every specialty blueprint. We got half of the expedition logs. Um, but what I'm really hurting on is the bio samples. We're just not getting a whole lot of them. Thirty and twenty-five. Okay, so maybe what I'll do over at this is set these up to. Uh, we're sort of hurting on titanium right now, so 
what is it, 25 hardened fasteners and 30 electronics. I'll just queue up the amount that we require. Caves very rarely work out for me. We have a dwindling food supply here. We only have food for maybe another day. Not that we're far from home. Oh, well, there's the bio samples that I really wanted. All right, so that unlocks for me algae. That is what I want first to get the algae farm going. So the algae farm is this thing here. We're going to plant green algae, turn it on, power it on. And that will also unlock a lot of other recipes and the like. We have four potatoes left. We'll keep pushing it. All right, and then in doing getting the algae, that all is also going to allow us to get sushi recipe. And with a teeny little bit more of bio samples, because I need five more, I'll be able to get a plant fertilizer plant nutrients I think it's called you know part of me thinks maybe we need another tech printer or ore refiner or something like that I don't really know where we're bo bottlenecking exactly we have a lot of engineering jobs so maybe it's the ore refinery Because yeah, it might be it might be worth to get another ore, ore refinery just to speed the process up a bit. But you'd want to make sure that you're putting it somewhere where it's like pleasurable to uh, to work. Oh, there we go. Unless we find uh, some new POIs real soon, I'm just going to send them home. I could always have multiple uh, multiple comm stations going on. That couldn't hurt. Or even more radar towers. Uh, because I am burning through my points of interest that I discover faster than I can uh, discover new ones. Uh, you know what I could do is let's go ahead and delete the floors here and set it up as a uh, a little refinery. That might speed things up. It's what a uh, refinery floor. Anything new? No, nothing new. All right, rover, redock. So as I get algae, I could also possibly process fish for fish chunks. Right, let me do that. I'm gonna process craft five, if below five. And then over here, I'm going to make sushi craft if below 15. It's a low tier priority, but uh, we'll get there. And that's gonna take green algae made by the uh, algae farm and make sushi for everybody. Uh, sushi has, uh, it's, it's a, it, it basically is a little bit better than the uh, fish and chips. Um, it rivals it. It's just a new, you know, uh, source of, of Chuck, Robert, 
Sharon and and some food. Let's get moving. This new ore refinery, uh, what we could do is put things that we're really waiting on. So what are we really waiting on? Um, we need hardened fasteners resources. Hardened fasteners take uh, titanium. So here I'm going to have a titanium craft amount if below 15 over here. And that frees up another slot. So, you know, possibly we get more titanium. I'm not sure. Hopefully. All right, I'm sure my expedition is ready to go. Yes, they are. So I would like before the end of this uh, episode here to like build a custom vehicle, but I'm coming up on my time. Um, essentially, I would say, oh, there's another expedition log. The bulk majority of what this game has to offer has been discovered by me so far. This game is in development and the developer is making a lot of headway. I constantly see patches and progress. Um, it is an early access game. I rather like it, it is fun. Maybe not as much replay value as some of you might want, but regardless, I would endorse it myself. I'm very excited about where this goes. Um, but at this point, most of the fundamental game mechanics have been shown to you and the rest is just uh, surface discovery and exploration and the like. There's the bio samples I was waiting on, which means going to my research, I could, hmm. I could do a new crop or the recipe. I'm gonna go with the recipe. So that recipe is a bar refining recipe uh, is to make plant nutrients. And I'm gonna craft it below 15. It also unlocks, what is it? What did it unlock? All right, that's about it. Uh, another log. Oh, there is a lot more. POIs to discover. How about that vehicle? 25 hardened fasteners. How many do we have? 14? No, I don't think I'm going to get that. Most of that is just a bottleneck of rutile. Um, and for me to get the necessary rutile, I would need to set up another mining platform, which I hadn't done, but there's no disadvantage to have multiples of them. So what I really should have done is had multiple rutile mining because the rutile... Um, there's some tech fragments. The the amount of rutile I'm getting out of this uh, mining platform is a lot lower than my gold. I'm getting five gold an hour and 1.5 rutile an hour. Uh, so if I was smart, I would just say forget this vehicle and you know go and 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 make another miner. And you can just set miners up as many as you need. Uh, so here's advanced engine blueprint. That's the really really fast engine that I'm currently using in this rover. Uh, we now know how to manufacture. And we're slowly getting our hard and fasteners up, but not, not quite fast enough, mostly due to my own inefficiencies. Now as far as uh, plant nutrients go, before I end this I can show you how to use them. Oh, eye strain. So that would just be going to your uh, aeroponics farm. I'm going to wait till the crop is done. I don't want to kill off the crop just to show you. but. We're clearing this crop now. So cancel it and then selecting the fertilizer. And all that does is boost the grow time and output amount. So if you, uh, and certain crops here can only grow in aeroponics. Uh, you can't grow them in like a crop field. So the specialty crops that I've yet to discover due to my lack of um, biosamples uh, would only be able to grow aeroponically. 
Uh, but what you could do is you could fertilize them so that you get higher yields so you didn't need a crazy amount of aeroponic benches. Um, but I think my luck of these POIs is running out. I'm just sprinting ankles right, left, and sideways. Um, so yeah, another thing I could have done is just cranked out a bunch of beetle miners and uh, supported my... Um, uh, you know, my rutile addiction is more or less what it is because I, I need a lot of titanium. And, and that's the reason, chiefly the reason to go up to the surface is to get the rutile or get the rare resources that don't exist in your little cave uh, and then put those resources to more surface exploration. Now, there isn't so much an end game yet, but I suspect there will be. There's supposed to be eventually dangers and things like that. Um, in fact, I would even invite you to go check out the Discord for this game because there's a poll up right now about what sort of uh, quote-unquote endgame you'd like to see. So if you have desires about where you'd like to see this go and head to, um, that's exactly how you should express yourself is through that poll. Well, guys, that's about it for me. Um, sorry that I'm not going to bring you more of this, but uh, the remainder is very much the same as what you've seen in this episode. Um, just a different variety of vehicles and surface exploration. If you have any tips, tricks, feedback for me about this game, uh, feel free to drop comments in, even if the series is over, and I'll be bringing a new series to you next week. Thank you all for watching. Thanks for supporting this series and supporting my channel. I'll catch you all later, guys. Adios.